Hello, today we're continuing factoring quadratics. So in our booklet, we've got factoring quadratics on page 10. We worked through the first page and then we were, did the first example. It gets a bit harder. Hopefully you had some success with those last ones. And it does get a bit harder when you have positives and negatives involved. Okay, so let's set it up the same way though. So you're gonna take your first times your last and put it on top. So two times negative three is negative six. You take your middle term and put it right down here in the bottom. Okay, now you're going to think about your factors. 1 times 6 or 2 times 3. A lot of times your first instinct is to say 2 times 3. But the problem is, so don't write this in your booklet, but the problem is if you have 2 and 3, they could add to get 5, but they can't multiply together to get negative 6 unless you make one of them negative. And once you make one of them negative, when you add them, they're not going to equal 5. So that's why those don't work. So a lot of times, I'll kind of think about the process, and then I'll add in the negatives and positives after. So once we see that doesn't work, let's try 1 times 6. So 1 times 6, we need one of them to be negative. And just hold on for a second until you look at the bottom number. And ask yourself, if we end up with a positive 5, and you were to add those together, which one should be negative? And so if we want to end up with a positive, it means the larger number should be positive and the smaller number should be negative because then it becomes 6 minus 1, which is 5. So now that can be kind of confusing. If you're having a lot of trouble with the symbols, you could also set it up with the symbols over here where one's a negative version and one's a positive version and use it that way. And you could see there, oh yeah, those don't add up, those don't add up, but this one does add up. Oh no, that, not that one. Oh, I did the same number twice. Okay, I meant, didn't mean to put the same one twice. So we'd have a positive one times a negative six. So you could put all the options if that makes it easier. Okay, once you get these two numbers, these are the important numbers, right? The negative one and the positive six. So now we're on our way to solving this. So instead of a 5x, you're going to put negative x plus 6x. And then just kind of recopy the front and the back. So 2x squared minus 3. Okay, and now you're going to look at... Whoa, I didn't need to do that. Okay, we're going to look at 2x squared minus x. And the only thing they have in common is the x. So we're going to have 2x times 2x is 2x squared. Then x times 1 equals negative x. And then let's look at the second one. So 6x minus 3. They could both be divided by 3. So we'll say plus 3. And ask yourself, what times 3 equals 6x? And 2x. What times 3 equals negative 3? And it's negative 1. And notice, woohoo, they match. So if the parentheses match, you know you've done this correctly, and you can now take the x and the plus 3. Put them together. Everyone should be included. And then put the 2x minus 3, oh, 2x minus 1 in its own parentheses. And if you ever want to double check, the way you can double check is multiply the first, do the FOIL method. x times 2x is 2x squared. Then x times negative 1 is negative x. Start with the 3. 3 times 2 is 6x. And then 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. I forgot to write the x squared. And when you combine those, you get what you started with. Okay, let's do another example like this. So we end up with 1 times 15 is 15. And then bring that negative 8. The minus 8 turns into a negative 8 down here. So we've got 1 times 15, or 3 times 5. Now notice this time we have a negative number down here. You might be wondering how that works because we have a positive up here. So some other options, think about it, it could be negative 1 times negative 15 and negative 3 times negative 5 because those would still be positive, but when you add them, they'd be negative. So we know it's neither, neither of those. And negative 3 plus negative 5 is negative 8. So these are our two magic numbers. So we're going to use those to replace our negative 8. So we get negative 3x 
minus 5x, and then recopy everything else. And then box this in. The only thing they have in common is an x. Because that pretty much just changes your exponent there, and then 3. Because negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Now on this other one, you have, meant to be blue there, they have a 5 in common. And usually you put, we're going to deal with this in just a second, but I want to show you. So usually you kind of assume it's positive until as you're doing this, you go, wait a second, this would be negative x plus 3. But that's different from what we want, right? And you can see just the symbols are different, which means we want to change this to a minus and change this to x minus 3 because you want it to match. Sometimes you can even start with the x minus 3 and kind of double check what you need to factor out because you know they have to match in the end. Okay, double check. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. So we're good. So take the leftover pieces, x minus 5, put them together, and then take the part in parentheses and just write it one time. All right, that's it for today. In today's pod, you'll be practicing this some more. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you later.